I heard country icons and Vince Gill tonight celebrating Thank the you. new album, Oki, which is available now. Uh, you can also uh, tag us on social media. Your hashtag, of course, Vince. Uh, hashtag, I heart Vince Gill. Cool. Okay. That's pretty foreign to me. I'm not a, I'm not a, I, I've never sent a text. I don't know if you know that or not. I'm not really do the social thing, media. Well, I'm social and all. I'm friendly and whatnot. But, but never a text. So no. Phone calls. Phone calls. I never hashtagged a, a soul in my life. Is that a good thing? I'll, I think it is. Uh, I'll show you how later. Okay. Uh, that, by the way, was your uh, second number one country song. Uh, yeah, give it up. Uh, what kind of, what does it take you back to when you play that one and when you think about that, those early hits? Well, just grateful. You know, I think more than anything, I've done this for, I made my first record 45 years ago, you know, and I'm um, a 62-year-old man, and, and it just, it feels great to have new music and play new music, but it also feels great to to know that you had an impact, to, you know, for a stretch of your life, and that song is almost 30 years old, you know, it's just, just scary, but uh, It doesn't seem grateful. like it, does it? I it's mean, just it just grateful. seems like yesterday. Um, when it comes to the new project, Oki, you're not going to hear the giant you know, guitar solos, flashy guitar solos or big hooky choruses on this. It's really about the songs, about the lyrics, right? Or it is. That is. The, it, the focus? It's, a, it's kind of a singer-songwriter record, you know. I um, and, and this is not a, a, a poor me, but I'm not really, you know, a current thing on, on country radio so much anymore. I am with a lot of old music, but it gives me a lot of freedom to kind of do what I like. And, and uh, so it's... Um, uh, a pretty thoughtful record, kind of steeped in truth, and there's a lot of tough subjects on this record and things like that. But it's just, it, it's it's all the same to me. It still feels like I like I did when I was 17. I just had a little bit of hope and a song in my pocket, and away I went. I love what you told me earlier today on the radio, and I'm glad you brought up your age because I didn't want to say it, but you did. So 62 years old. <laughs> You said this album <laughs> specifically was sort of like it took 62 years for you to actually make this one, and and why was that? Well, it's, you you know it's a it's a reflective record. It's it, there's a lot of uh, songs that kind of look back a little bit. There's some yearning on this record. There's a song I wrote for my mom um, that is old. It's 18 years old, and my mom's 93, and I knew I had to do this before you know it was too late. I wanted her to get to hear this song, and so I just think all that stuff you know has to come from a life that's uh, that's been lived. You will hear lots of great guitar work on the new album. And by the way, how many guitars do you have, Vince? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Lost count a long time yeah. ago. I'm probably 250, maybe 250, 300 guitars. I love collecting them. I've collected them my whole life. And my favorite, one of my favorite guitar stories is uh, the first guitar that uh, I ever purchased. When I was 18 years old. I left home to play in a bluegrass band. I didn't go to college. And my folks were real cool about saying, man, go follow your dreams and, and do what you, you love. And, and I, I had left home with a, with a kind of a new Martin guitar, and, and I found this really old pre-war Martin at a bluegrass festival right when I moved to Kentucky. And um, this guy had a big sign on it. It was 1942 D28 Herringbone for $2,500. This was 1975. That was a fortune. And so I talked him into trading me that guitar for my guitar and sixteen hundred dollars, and that sixteen hundred dollars was all the money that I had in my life. Wow. You know, it's all the money I'd saved for my future, and I spent it on a guitar, and I've still got that guitar to this day. That's great. That's Love it. I wonder because you're such a ace guitar player. Has there ever been a song where you're like, oh, whew, I don't know if I can play that one? Sure. It, yeah. A, a song that I there's a lot of songs I can't play. <laughs> Straight up. No, I, 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 I'm a meat and potatoes kind of musician. I, I'm, I'm not real advanced. I'm not uh, a learned musician. I was not classically trained. I can't read um, music very well at all. And I took some violin lessons as a little boy and some piano lessons from a little old lady down the street that smelled like mothballs. <laughs> so I had a pretty normal, normal childhood, you know. I, I, got a, I had a mean teacher. Why did I quit playing the violin? I got a really mean teacher in sixth grade. And I said, I quit. You know, she was just so mean. I said, I'm not doing this. I'd rather play baseball. So I played baseball and turned up the electric guitar, and away I went. Love it.